welcome back to my channel today's scene is going to be quite a simple uh, winter scene it's going to have snow snow so i'm just starting off this is bockingford rough paper um i've not really used much of the rough paper before but i ordered some more so i just thought i'd give it another go and i find it not too rough so we'll see how we get on doing this scene with this uh, Bockingford rough. The size of the paper is uh, 15 by 11 and I'm using the, um, let me just have a look at the brush, it's the Isobay mop brush, quite a nice brush because it's got a nice point on the uh, tip and it holds plenty of water so you can get nice um, even washes with it. So just starting off with the yellow ochre and now I'm touching in some of the burnt sienna just to warm up the bottom of the horizon line. It is quite a cold scene so I wanted a bit of warmth to come through and I'm starting slightly different to what I usually do starting at the bottom of the sky and just working my way up. You can see got a nice mix of uh, it's cerulean blue mixed with a little bit of ultramarine so it's not too too bright not too vibrant i wanted it to be quite a nice color just going over the top of the yellow ochre now the thing is with uh, yellow ochre it doesn't mix it, it doesn't give you green if you mix in with um, yellow ochre it just sort of sits nicely and blends in so you don't get these um, horrible green colors in the sky which is quite nice and just working loose and uh, going to get quite a simple sky I'm not doing any clouds nothing like that just the blue and yellow so I'm just adding a little bit more of the darker blue just streaks coming down and I'm not scared to go into the yellow as I said it doesn't mix it doesn't create any greens anything like that it just mixes nice and nice and if you're uh, new to this channel um, please do subscribe if you want to learn more on watercolor I have plenty of videos now tutorials um, art supplies anything like that then please do subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell and you'll receive notifications when I do post more videos. I do post videos each and every week, so it's quite a regular thing. And so any uh, new subscriptions will be helpful. You can see here I'm just dropping in a bit of a tree line and this is with the uh, nice warm brown um, burnt sienna again. So it's got a nice red tone to it and just blending that down as I come down with clean water. So it gives me a nice soft backdrop to this painting. You can see it's not, not too sharp, it's quite soft and working wet in wet and just dropping in just a little bit of blue, that'd be the ultramarine blue just um, giving bit of interest to the background and then just coming forward with bits of the color that's on my brush and these are for the bits of snow coming down to the foreground so it's quite a, a nice scene quite quite loose I'm not painting from a reference I'm just going ahead and, and having fun with another winter scene it's quite cold here we've had some snow I don't know whether we'll get any more but it's nice when it's snowing just to do a nice little winter scene. So if you've not done any um, paintings like this, then why not give it a go? It's nice and easy, quite straightforward to do. And I'll let you uh, enjoy the rest of this video.
I will be coming over with uh, the voiceover just to um, let you know what I'm doing. So just putting in some uh, beginning of trees. This is where I want my trees to sit. So I'm just putting down a little bit of brown mix. You, um, it's umber and a little bit of raw sienna. And so this is where my trees are going to live in this scene. So, and towards the end of the video, you'll notice that I took the tape off. I thought I was finished, but I just wanted to add some snow to the scene. So I will show you how I add that. There's a couple of ways. Um, I don't know whether you're a fan of masking tape, uh, masking fluid, sorry. I do have a number of bottles of masking fluid, but I know that some paper doesn't, quite like masking fluid it does sort of damage the surface of some paper I'm sure, I think it might be ash I'm not sure but I'm not really a fan of uh, masking fluid so you can either leave um, unpainted parts of the um, paper reserve that for the white but I'll be adding the white gouache just straight from the tube just adding uh, my brush into the tube and just using that neat so it's a nice opaque way of painting in any highlights or snow or anything like that <laughs>
I usually uh, mess mess things up when I add figures, but I just thought I'd go ahead. It needs um, something to add to the scene, so I thought I'd just add a figure and possibly a dog, just a dog walker walking through the scene. That'd be quite nice. And I think I've got this figure looking okay, I guess, and maybe I'll add a, a few more people sort of further down the path just to give a bit of perspective and obviously just add in little bits of shadow here and there. If you do have any suggestions of what you'd like to see painted then please drop a comment. Um, I do like receiving comments. Um, one of the things that I want to give a go and I think I'll do in the next painting or so is a night scene. I've only seen this done a couple of times in watercolour. I think it'll be quite challenging. But if you do want to see that, then do subscribe, um, hit the notification bell, and you'll see that video once I do get round to painting the night scene. It's quite a nice, nice scene, and I do love the way, if I do it right, the way headlights and um, sort of lighting, road lighting and things like that appear in watercolour. So that's something I will be looking at doing, um, whether I use masking tape or just um, preserve the white of the paper. I'll possibly use the gouache just to finish, finalise some highlights and things like that. So if you wanna, if you're interested in seeing that, then you, you know what to do. Just give us a like and subscribe, and that'll be a video up and coming hope I do it justice. Um, it could be quite tricky but I'm willing to give it a go.